We have question from Junre Amachaga of Mindanao State University, Iligan Institute of Technology. Para request ng content sir, yung operation ng mga equipment sa bridge, navigation na lights, radar or ARPA, etc. What is bridge? Bridge is the commanding navigation center of the ship where the captain stays and his duty officer. If the engine room is the heart of the ship, the bridge is the brain of it. The bridge will contain the equipment necessary to safely navigate a vessel on passage. GPS, which stands for Global Positioning System, the GPS provides critical positioning capabilities to military, civil, and commercial users around the world. Take note, GPS with correction of 100 meters from the given coordinates, while the DGPS with 10 meters correction. Navtex Receiver, an acronym for Navigational Telex. The Navtex Receiver is a narrow band direct printing or NVDP device operating on the frequency of 518 kHz. Some equipment can also operate on 490 and 4200.5 kHz and that is a vital part of the Global Maritime Distress and Safety System or GMDSS. It provides weather forecasts and navigational warning with a range of 400 miles. ECDIS stands for Electronic Chart Display and Information System. It's a geographic information system used for a nautical navigation that complies with International Maritime Organization, regulates alternative to paper nautical charts. Radars, we already know the difference between X-band and S-band radar on my previous video. They serve the same purpose of marine radars, used to detect other ships and land obstacles to provide bearing and distance for collision avoidance and navigation at sea. ARPA is an automatic radar plotting aid. A marine radar with capability can create tracks using radar contacts. This system can calculate the track of object course, speed, and the CPA closest point of approach, thereby knowing if there is a danger of collision with the other ship or landmass. Marine BHF radios are two-way communicators which are used to transfer and receive messages. However, the most important function of marine BHF radio is that it is very helpful when it comes to sending distress signal across the channels to coast guards and other ships. According to US frequency low band BHF range from 49 to 108 MHz. High band BHF range from 169 to 216 MHz with range approximately 30 to 40 miles and belongs to C Area 1. UHF Marine Radio does not travel as far as the BHF but may grant a higher band with occupation. Based on US frequency, low band UHF range from 450 to 806 megahertz and high band UHF from 900 to 952 megahertz. SSB radio is used by boats and yachts for communication at sea. The Marine MFHF SSB radio is a combined transmitter and receiver, much like your BHF. The primary difference between the two is the frequency range that they operate in. Typical Marine MFHF SSB radios operate in the frequency range of 1.6 MHz to 30 megahertz with range approximately 100 miles. The SSB radio was first used as part of the marine radio system after the World War II.
Engine Telegraph Control Telegraph System is a system used for communication between the bridge and the team of engineers in the engine control room. The system consists of three telegraphs located in the captain's bridge, engine control room, engine room. It is used when the ship speed is changing. The officer changes the speed by setting the appropriate command from the telegraph panel located on the bridge. His command is mirrored on the remaining panels. Magnetic compass is the most familiar compass type. It functions as a pointer to magnetic north, the local magnetic meridian, because the magnetized needle at its heart align itself with the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field. Sound signaling devices are used to signal distress or you need for assistance to alert other ships of your position in for visibility and for navigation purposes. Navigation light also known as a running light or position light is a source of illumination on a vessel. Navigation light give information on ship's position, heading, and status.